Hey everybody, it's Mike the Blog Builder Guy welcoming you back to another tutorial on learning about WordPress. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of quick steps you can use to help keep your site safe from hackers. So we're logged into our cPanel at HostGator. And as always, if you have a different hosting company with cPanel, yours will look very similar to this. So we're going to scroll down until we come to File Manager. I'm going to click on File Manager. It's going to open up a little window. And from the drop-down menu, we will pick the site we want to work with. And in our case, it's WordPressSecurity.co. I'm going to click on Go. And that will take me to the files for that site. I'm going to want to click on or highlight wp-config. And you'll have to scroll down a little bit to find that. Once I'm there, I'm going to click on Code Editor. And that will take me to the page. Now we're going to scroll down until we find WordPress Database Table Prefix. And the Table Prefix is right here. And up here it gives you some instructions about changing it. Only numbers, letters, and underscores, please. And they're very polite about it. So what I'm going to do is a couple of letters. I'll throw in a number, maybe an underscore, another number, a couple more letters. Now this is going to be pretty hard for any hacker to figure out. OK, so we've got that. Now I'm going to go up here and click Save Changes. And that is done. Now I'm going to go over to the website. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to hit Refresh. And what happens is it's going to ask you to reinstall the blog. I mean, it's supposed to do that, so don't get all excited and worried. All right, so I'm going to pause the video a minute while I fill in this information so you don't have to watch me type. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I filled in all the information, got a nice strong password here. Uh, as you can see, my uh, username isn't all that secure. It's so I will come back later on and change that to make it a, a better one. And again, it gives you some instructions right here on what to do and how to make this a, a secure username. And it does the same thing down here for your password. Now you've got to put an email and it will send you all this information. Scrolling down a little bit more. I do not want my site to appear in the search engines at this moment because I'm just putting the site together. So I'm going to unclick that, and I'm going to hit Install WordPress. And it gives me the login page. I'm going to log in. And, and, and click. And it takes me to the back end, the dashboard, where I do all my magic. I'm going to click on this just to see the site. And there it is in all its splendor and glory. And that is one step in making the WordPress blog secure is by changing the table prefix. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back and change some security keys. So I'm back in the file manager. I'm back in the uh, wp-config.php file. And once again, I'm going to want to click on the code editor. I'm going to click on edit. Click on edit. And it's going to take me to the editing page where we were before. And we're going to scroll down until we come to authentication, unique keys, and salts. And we're going to, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change all these to something different. Now, I've already changed these a few times because of uh, my, let's say, less than perfect uh, video editing here. But the process is very simple. It tells you what to do. You come up here. You click and highlight that code right there. We're going to copy it. We're going to come up here to a new window. I'm just going to paste that in there. Control V. Hit Enter. And it gives you some new keys. So what we're going to want to do is highlight it all. Control A. Control C will copy it. We're going to come back. And we're going to highlight all of this. And we're going to 
paste that other code in there, control V. Now these have been changed. Now the reason we do that is because again with the default installation in this code is the name of your website. In my case it would be WordPressSecurity.co. So again, any hacker would know that. And that just gives them a, uh, a little step up in finding out what the rest of the keys are. So we've done that. We've done two things now to make our site more secure. We're going to go up here and click Save Changes. And we're going to go back to the blog itself. And as we can see, everything is looking good. There's no, uh, hasn't changed anything. Take it to home. All right. So those two quick and simple changes can help keep your blog uh, just a little bit safer from hackers. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the next few videos we'll be doing some more real quick changes to make things a little more secure. And as I say all the time, if you have questions, please email me at Mike the Blog Builder Guy. Or hook up with me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash the blog builder guy. So until then, uh, I thank you very much and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.